I think it's better than that, you know, coming back to your alma mater and seeing a lot of the coaches you played under and the guys you played with just coming around here and watching you practice. So it's been, it's been fun. Kay Almonte, a former St. Louis Crusader, talking about practicing this morning at St. Louis. Thanks to the recent wet weather, the UH Warriors making some adjustments this week to their practice schedule, including moving this morning's workout from the soggy grass field at UH to the artificial turf of the Crusaders practice field. How you doing, everybody? Let's talk sports. After holding some light workouts during last week's bye, Hawaii's doing whatever is necessary to get in the proper preparation for this Saturday's home game with Idaho. The WAC finale for both teams and the first of three final games in the Warriors regular season. At 5-5 five and five overall, the scenario's been beaten to a pulp, win two of three, and Hawaii qualifies for the Hawaii Bowl. A lot of us seniors, we talk about we want to win out, even the bowl game, get to a bowl game and win that game. And it means a lot to even the younger guys because this is kind of the start of their next year. They're going to kind of go rolling off of this last three, four games that we have. You know, we're excited to go out there and play, but, uh, you know, at the same time, we got to take it one game at a time. Uh, you know, Idaho's not going to lay down for us. It's, I think it's their last game. And so they're going to come out firing. And uh, so, you know, we got can't take them lightly. Idaho comes in at 2-9, and 1-6 and six in the WAC. Warriors are 5-5, five 4-3 and five, four and three in conference. Kickoff Saturday is set for just after 6 p.m. Speaking of beating as well, I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. Because of recent heavy rains has muddied up their grass practice field, UH football team worked out on the field turf at nearby St. Louis School this morning. For a handful of Warriors, it was flashback Wednesday, going back to their alma mater. Did you bring you back to a time in your life when football was a little different, a little more simpler? Yeah, high school ball was a lot more, I guess, fun in a way. It wasn't like a serious college football, you know, you, you better do your job. Um, high school is like, you know, all the boys get to chill and have fun on the field. And I seen my coach out there and I, it just brought me back to, you know, we used to play here. Saturday, Hawaii hosts Idaho, their WAC finale. Team has two games left after that. Washington State and Cincinnati. Well, the math is simple. Team needs to win two of its final three to earn a spot in the Christmas Eve Hawaii Bowl. Backs against the wall is a good, you know, a good, a good wordage or whatever because that's how it was at St. Louis. That's how it was, and that's what actually I was thinking of when I came here. I said, you know, we lost the first game to Kamehameha, and we had our backs against the wall. So this is how it is. We got our backs against the wall. We got to win out, and we got to get to that bowl game, and you know. Let, let Hawaii get another chance to watch us play and have some fun. Warriors 5-5 five five overall, 4-3 and three in whack play. Vandals is 2-9, 1-6 and nine, one and six in conference. After early morning rainouts this week in Manoa, the UH football team wasn't taking its chances with Mother Nature today, so practice was moved to a new location. Coach Greg McMacken squad was preparing for a meeting with Idaho at St. Louis High School where there is field turf. UH needs to win two of its final three games to qualify for the Hawaii Bowl, but the Warriors have a different goal in mind. That is to finish with a three-game sweep of the regular season. The former Crusaders like Cal Monte, the return to his alma mater, put the final stretch run in perspective backs against the wall is a good you know a good a good wordage or whatever because that's how it was at St. Louis that's how it worked and that's what actually I was thinking of when I came here I said you know we lost the first game to come in there and we had our backs against the wall so this is how it is we got our backs against the wall we got to win out and we got to get to that bowl game and you know let, let Hawaii get another chance to watch us play and have some fun the Warriors defense will have a new look in the secondary this weekend. Senior utility man Ryan Mutan has been moved to free safety. It's the fourth position for the converted cornerback this season. Mutan has also seen time as punt returner and slot back. And the last time he played the safety position, he came up with an interception against Washington in 2007 that preserved Hawaii's perfect regular season. Ryan is obviously a great athlete and has as good a speed as there is on the team. But the other thing he has, he's really smart. Uh, but he's a guy, just like I watched him very closely today, doing exactly what he's supposed to do as a, as a free safety. He's made about seven interceptions in the last two days. So he's just a great athlete, and he's smart, and he's a gamester. Hawaii hosts Idaho again this Saturday. The Vandals are having a tough season at 2-9 overall, 1-6 in the WAC. History also favors the Warriors. UH leads the all-time series 7-1.